Hello everyone, how is it going? Today is Friday, February 11th, 2022. 11 more days and it'll be my 27th birthday. But um, anyways guys, uh, in this video I am talking about strictly action figures that I have in the box that I got recently. I know I did a video on uh, like on my YouTube channel and stuff showing the three figures I had. Well, I actually got more now uh in one week <laughs> and i will be showing them off again because one of the websites i can't uh show uh over i mean can't do over 10 minute video limit or whatever so anyways this is the video gamer 64 here and in this video we're going to be showing five action figures that i got in less than a week or one week or whatever and uh, anyway, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, the first figure I have is really, it looks really good. It's from Marvel Legends, and this was a 2021 uh, print, and it says The Amazing Spider-Man, Marvel's Electro. And it comes in like this. I love the way the colors look on his uh, costume. And it says, Mar, Mar, blah, 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 blah. Marvel's Electro, Maxwell Dillon, the charged-up villain menace with electricity, has an evil plan for Spider-Man, and it won't be pretty. That's what it says right there in the back. I love the way the artwork looks on the inside uh, and the outside, and I'm very happy to have this in my collection. And excuse me for that, because of the sun is shining, shining bad, and I just whistled while I was talking. Okay. Um. Anyway. <laughs> This is Marvel's Electro from uh, The Amazing Spider-Man. Next, we got another action figures. I mean, figure from Marvel Legends. It says The Uncanny X-Men, Magneto. Charles! Charles! <laughs> I try to sound like Magneto. But anyway, this is Magneto. Again, I love the way the detail looks on the costume. And both of the Electro and Magneto's a 3.75 inch scale, inch scale figure ring. And it says, Magneto, a powerful mutant villain who controls magnetic fields. Magneto clashes with the X-Men to make them yield. And it shows uh, the cover in the back. And it looks very cool. And this is from 2021. So... Both of this and Electro is brand new figures. And, uh, yeah. Next, this was the last figure I showed in my last video. Uh, it was the Riddler from DC. It's a 12-inch action figure. I love the Riddler. And like I was saying, I like him more than the Joker. I like the Joker. He's my second favorite DC villain of all time. But something about the Riddler is number one in my opinion. And it says the Riddler could like them all. And then in the back you see Batman, Bat Tech, Batman, Attack Tech, Batman, the Joker, the Riddler, and Nightwing. And uh yeah, so in the back you can see what it said uh what it shows. I'm trying to get that sun glare out. Uh, anyway, it's like this in the back. And then the front looks like this. I'm so happy to have that. Definitely going to put them up on the wall. And that's all the action figures I got last week. I mean, you know, early this week. Um, these two figurines I actually got yesterday. They're both in the box. And uh, went to this comic store. Not comic store. Toy store. That carries old and new toys. And when I seen these two toys, it brought me back, way back to memory lane. Uh, like the X-Men figures, the Spider-Man figures. And these are original figures. Not the brand new ones, but the original. This is Battle Brigade Brigade X-Men. And it says Archangel. That's the character, Archangel. And it says, it includes official Marvel Universe trading card. And y'all can see what the trading card looks like on top. Right there. And Archangel looks like this. I, I love the way this figure looks. I remember figurines looking like this. And it says, Rich Playboy Warren Worthington III was the X-Men's angel until the day that he was captured and transformed into one of the horsemen of the apocalypse. 
a darker reflection of his previous self, Archangel now possessed wings made of metal, wings that he could barely control, wings that fire paralyzing feathers at, at friends as well as enemies, constantly battling his dark side. Archangel longed to regain the go goodness that he once stood for. Recently finding kinship with the X-Men Cyclops, Archangel has come to the terms with his transformation and has started to rebuild the life that he thought he lost forever. And what you would do with this figure, you would squeeze the uh, legs, like the legs right here, like right there. Anyway, and uh, he his wings would move, and uh, that's what it shows in the back. And I love the way they have these old toys right here like this. Brings me way back. And that is from 1996. Now this one's from uh, Wave... Three, wave two of the uh, Marvel Spider-Man. I mean, amazing, you know what I mean. Spider-Man from the 90s cartoon. It says Spider-Wars, Doppelganger, Living Alien, Spider-Trap. Now, this is one badass figure. I never know when I'm going to see it. I got it for $35. Didn't know when I was going to see it again. And, um, yeah, when I seen it, I said I have to get it. And I looked it up online, people selling it for 80 and stuff like that is crazy. But uh, anyway, I got this for a better price, 35 right there. Look how cool this figure ring looks. I actually have the comic book, that uh, Maximum Carnage, that features him in it. It's so cool. It says, Spider-Man and Doctor Strange team up to rescue the Black Hat from the clutches of the evil Hydro Man. Hydra's man's water blasting powers are too much for them to handle. Using his magical powers, Doctor Strange summons forth the Doppelganger Spider. While Hydra Man battles the Doppelganger Sp Spider, Spidey and Doctor Strange are free to rescue the Black Cat. And and I love the way he 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 looks, like his tongue sticking out in the figurine, and he has all six of his arms. Yeah, let me make sure. Yes, yeah, six. And it comes with a uh, oh, the sun. Sorry about that, guys. And uh, anyway, it comes with a double ganger. Uh, oh, what do they call that? Collector's pen, I think. Yeah. Right there. Pretty detail. I like that. And um, I just love the way this figurine looks. It's my second favorite Spider-Man figure of all time. With behind, I mean, number one is Carnage, and third is the Venom one. But something about this one looks so damn badass. Oh, I'm sorry, guys, but um, yeah, that's all the figurines I got recently. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show them one more time in a recap. I gotta make sure it's less than uh, 10 minutes long, it's eight minutes 23 seconds into the video, so I better hurry up. This is the 12 inch action figure of the Riddler. Came out this year, 2022. Marvel's Electro from the Spider Man universe, 2021. This came out. Uncanny X Men Magneto from 2021. Archangel from 1996 action figure. Very happy to have that one. And the one I'm happy to have the most out of them all is Doppelganger. So yes, guys, I hope all of you guys really found this video entertaining. And if y'all did, feel free to comment, like, or rate this video five stars. Five stars. <laughs> five stars. To see more videos on here. And this is the Video Gamer 64 and Doppelganger 64 signing off. <laughs> Signing off.